It is important to remember that sometimes some customers take a long time to convert from leads to paying customers. Maybe they sign up or register for a free account for some months and then they are prompted to become a paying customer. In other words, your marketing campaign may take some time to realize the revenues it is trying to generate. To account for that delay in a lead conversion, CAC is often calculated on the basis of your average sales cycle. Let's look at the following example. Here we have a slightly different formula based on a 60-day average sales cycle. We use the marketing cost for August and then use a ratio of the sales and marketing salaries and overhead costs for the previous two months. Don't get bogged down by the formula just yet. Let's make sure we cover the concept first. So think of it as you're still paying for those costs, the salaries and the overhead costs, as you wait for the marketing cost, the 9,500, to realize the lead conversion, which is the average cycle of two months in this example. So here's the formula. We take the marketing cost for August and we take half of the overhead cost for sales and marketing from August. So we add this amount, the marketing cost for August, and add it to half of, so we multiply that by 0.5 of the overhead costs for August. So that's the sales and marketing salaries plus the overhead costs. And we add it to half of the overhead costs for September because we're only taking into account the marketing costs for August and then averaging across the August and September overhead costs. So this is the numerator. The numerator is this plus half of this and half of this. That's the numerator. And what you're then doing is you're actually dividing it by the number of paid customers that you got in September. Because you're trying to you're trying to gauge what was the cost of acquiring these paid customers in September? And if your sales cycle is two months, then you want to take the overhead cost for two months, so August and September, and average them. And that's what the 0.5 is doing. And then you include the marketing cost, the amount you spent on marketing to these uh, paid customers back in August. And you divide it by the number of paid customers that you got in September. And that's how, and I've also included the formula here for you to see. So that's how you arrive at the CAC with a two month average cycle. And I copy the formula over to October as well. Let me just post this here so it gets confusing. So yes, you can see that the CAC is different and lower than it was for the one month cycle. It was 148 and 138 before, but now it's lower. And there's a reason for this. Previously, you were overestimating it. You were hoping that the leads will convert to customers in a month, when in fact, it takes them two months. Businesses can decide their marketing campaign spending based on CAC, so for that reason, it is important to get more accurate estimates of CAC.